sa inyong lahat mga kaibigan, mga kapatiran at sa inyong lahat na maybe you've just tuned in for the first time sa ating God's Word for Today devotional. Welcome. At uh, to let you know, we are on this book in the Gospel of John and patuloy tayo sa chapter 5 verses 19 to 24. And let me read this sa ating Tagalog na Biblia. Kaya sumagot si Jesus at sinabi sa kanila, Katotohan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, hindi makakagawa ng anuman ang anak sa kanyang sarili, kundi ang nakikita niyang ginagawa ng ama, sapagkat ang lahat ng mga bagay na kanyang ginagawa ay siya ring ginagawa ng anak. Sapagkat minamahal ng ama ang anak, at sa kanya ay ipinapakita ang lahat ng mga bagay na kanyang ginagawa, at lalong dakilang mga gawa kaysa mga ito ang ipapakita niya sa kanya upang kayo'y mamangha. Sapagkat kung paanong ibinabangon ng ama ang mga patay ay sila'y binubuhay, gayon din naman binubuhay ng anak ang sinumang nais niya. Ang ama ay hindi umahatol sa kanino mang tao kundi ipinakuloob niya sa anak ang buong paghatol upang parangalan ng lahat ang anak na gaya rin ang kanilang pagparangal sa ama. Ang hindi nagparangal sa anak ay hindi nagparangal sa ama na sa kanya ay nagsugo. Katotohan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, ang nakikinig ng salit, aking salita at sumasampalataya sa kanya na nagsugo sa akin ay may buhay na walang hanggan at hindi darating sa kahatulan kundi lumipat na sa buhay mula sa kamatayan niya. Because of the miracle that he did by healing the man crippled and that started the whole episode of criticism from the religious leaders. And Jesus, uh, in this particular verses, ay nagpapahayag na siya at ang ama ay isa lamang. One with the Father, Jesus and the Father, ay isa lamang. In essence, when Jesus says, truly, truly, I say to you, he is claiming to know these things firsthand, personally and directly. Because uh, original, that is how, how it should be understood. He claimed personal, first-hand knowledge. The relationship between Jesus, the Son, and God, the Father, itong relationship nito is one of perfect harmony. So in this extended discussion, that Jesus with the, 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 the Pharisees and religious leaders, he explained to them some of the nature of his relationship and work with God the Father. Ang problema lang sa mga parisiyo at sa mga sadusiyo was spiritual blindness. Hindi sila makakita because they are blinded by their tradition. So Jesus has to rebuke them in Matthew 23 verse 17. This blindness created a wall of separation between them and God. And as a result, their actions and attitudes did not reflect but had contradicted the purpose and plan of God. So naturalmente na yung lahat ng mga ginagawa ni Panginoon Yesus Kristo ay hindi lang tatanggapin because ito ay nakulayan na ng kanilang prejudice because they are blinded. So balit, si Panginoon Yesus Kristo is explaining his state of communion with God. So mayroong tatlo na mababasa natin, makikita in this passage. Firstly, his actions are identical to the will of God. Kung ano ang ginagawa ng Ama, ginagawa niya din. Walang pagkaiba. Ang signs and wonders he did were done in accordance with the will of the Father. He said in sub verse 21, For the Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing, and greater works than this will he show him so that you may marvel. So itong ginawang milagro, was just a beginning, but there will be many, many miracles that we is going to do. And I think he's talking about the big miracles by raising Lazarus from the dead and culminating 
in his resurrection. Hindi lamang sa kaniyang ginagawa na katulad sa ama, kundi both father and son are one in judgment. He said, for the father judges no one but has given all judgment to his son. Verse 22. He has the power of divine judgment. The same thought will be repeated kung basahin natin ang verse 27. Since ang Diyos ay may sovereignty about judging all mankind sa so Genesis chapter 18 verse 25, Jesus, who is also God, has the right to issue verdicts as God the Father sanctions. So kung ano ang mahatulan ng Ama, kung ano kabadakilang ang Ama, how sovereign He is, the Son of Man also, or the Son of God also is sovereign. Only that, in His humanity, na limitahan ang pag-exercise niya ng kanyang sovereignty in many ways. Because He is also, He is putting, para bang nakasuot siya ng pagkatao, ng isang tao. Uh, this is a foreshadowing to Christ's eventual judgment of all mankind in Revelation chapter 20, verse 11 to 15. So both the Father and the Son are one in judgment. And thirdly, in honor. Both the Father and the Son will be honored in the same manner. Sabi niya sa verse 23, All may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Okay. Since Jesus is owed the same honor as the Father, kung ang isang tao ay nag-reject sa kanya, hindi pwede na mag-claim siya that he will know the Father by rejecting him as the Son. That would be absurdity. Hindi pwedeng mag-claim ng isang tao that I know God, I know the Father, kung hindi siya tatanggapin muna. This aligns the claim that He is the one and only way to reconcile man to God. So, nakatukma na yung claim niya na I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can go to the Father except through me. Because knowing Him is knowing the Father. So, honoring Him Receiving him is receiving the Father as well. So, ang pagtawag kay Panginoong Isu Kristo na siya ay si Panginoong Isu Kristo ay isa lamang sa mga paraan na makapunta tayo sa langit ay hindi yung tama. Ang isang pag-iisip din na si Kristo ay isang good teacher lamang katulad sa pag-address ni Nicodemus sa kanya at the beginning ay hindi rin tama. Jesus is not, not a good teacher only. He is more than that. He is the Savior, the Son of God. He is not only one of the ways to go to heaven to re, for man to reconcile to God the Father. He is the only way. So anything lesser is a dishonor to Him. So in summary, kasi isa siya sa, isang siya sa Ama, He is one with the Father in essence, hindi siya katulad ng Ama because He is distinct. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya na katulad in a sense na the same personality o the same person nagbabago yung, yung anyo. Anibawa, I am a father and at the same time I'm a husband. I'm the same person but I have different roles. That is not the way we think about Jesus and the Father. Jesus is different person. God the Father is a different person. Pero they have the same essence. Both are of eternal nature. They are God. Both are God. So, those who believe in Christ ay naniwala din sa Ama. He said in verse 24, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him, the Father, who sent me has eternal life. So kung maniwala tayo kay Pahino Su Cristo, naniwala tayo sa Ama, magkaroon tayo ng buhay na walang hanggan. And he does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. That's verse 24. So, conversely, he who rejects the Son ni-reject niya ng Ama rin. Thereby, 
siya na nag-reject sa Pipenus Christo will remain in death and will receive the judgment. So ang ating kaligtasan, ang ating pag-reconcile sa Panginoong Ama is through the Son only. There will be no other way. Wala na po ibang paraan na ma-reconcile yung makasalanan na tao punta ng Ama maliban sa Kapinong Su Kristo. So this answers the questions and the criticisms of the religious leaders during Jesus' time because Jesus himself claimed, explained that sino siya ay walang pagkakaiba sa Ama. Sa kanyang mga ginagawa, sa kanyang pag-judge, sa kanyang honor. And let it be that we will continue to know the Lord Jesus Christ that He is not only our Savior, but He is the Sovereign God as well. Maybe na sa ating pagpatuloy sa pangangaral sa salita ng Panginoon, madagdagan ang ating pagkilala kung sino pala itong Panginoong Jesus na napakilala sa atin. And we will marvel that He is really divine Himself. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, salamat po for today. Lord, um, there are just a lot of things that we cannot fathom easily, especially about the person of Christ, the, the revelation of God, of who God is. There are just many things that we cannot explain that easily. But thank you, dear Father, that there is no doubt that makilala ka namin through the Lord Jesus Christ because He is the Word who became man. And He is the Word who became flesh in order to dwell among us. Thank you that this morning we are reminded sa pagkakaisa niya sa inyo that you are one and the same and we can worship the God who is sovereign in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ who became man in order that we can know you in a personal way. So bless this truth, Lord, in our hearts. May be na makastrengthen to sa amin not to doubt that indeed Jesus really is the Lord God. In His name we pray. Amen.